<laughs> Hello, my name is David, and this is my life on play. Welcome! We're glad to have you. I'm a CPA in San Francisco, worked at Big Four, still in public accounting now, not at the Big Four, but I wanted to share my insights with you about my experiences there. So today, I want to talk about the money. Comp, 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 comp. Please, please remember that you don't go to the big four to get rich. I mean, if you want to get rich, I have highlighted that in a few, in one other blog, uh, vlog, excuse me, of three ways to get rich. And it's not a W-2 wage earner, especially not in the big four. Now, the partners do make a lot of money, but it's not how you get ultra wealthy. You'd be expecting to get paid. Now, as of 2000, and the comp for a first level should be right around 59K a year. And the comp for, and this is at a large firm, the comp for a medium-sized firm is right around 52, and the comp for a small firm is right around 49K. So if you're working for a big firm, you should expect to be getting paid a little bit more. And if you're working for a smaller firm, obviously they have less resources, and so they're gonna pay you less. Now, a partner once told me that if you work for a big four, every five years, you should be doubling your salary. About manager, you should be getting paid somewhere around 120. I don't know if that's necessarily one for one. It's kind of a rough gauge or uh, estimate that you should be thinking about. So let's continue through that example of doubling your salary every five years. Should you continue on to be a senior manager five years after a manager, you're right around, what, 250? Something like that. And if you wind up being a partner, after that, another five years, right? You're looking at around 500. Now, I don't think that's necessarily true if it keeps doubling and doubling like that. However, I do know that partners probably run in the range of 275 to probably about 350. But you gotta read the other perks. I will say that the health benefits are absolutely fantastic and it is, it, did not cost me very much. You also get your phone paid for, for the most part, and those are things that definitely help. I know people that were looking at comp packages, trying to leave, and because the health benefits were so good with their family, they actually couldn't leave because the salary was, even though the salary was more, it wasn't able to cover all the health benefits that he needed. Bonuses, well, the bonuses were so good, I can't even remember how much it was. <laughs> Meaning, they were pretty small, and Everybody always complained about it. So look, that brings me to really the, the point of all this is that if you're, if you're looking at your buddies and he's getting paid, you know, an extra thousand dollars me on my salary range, look guys, that is really not that much take home money at the very end of the day. After taxes and everything, what, it winds up being an extra, what, $50 in your paycheck or something? That's just really not that much money and it's not that much to fret about. So. When people were complaining about comp, you have to put things in perspective. You go to Deloitte to get the experience. You go to the big four to understand what to do. And that is raising your equity for when you actually try to leave the big four. That's something to think about and put in perspective. That your buddies who are getting paid more than you, you should be thinking about, well, what experience am I on that I'm actually raising more of my intellectual equity and possible exit opportunities. What they do is play halfway. So. The main point that I would like to say is look, if you are not happy with a staff salary at a big four firm, you will never be happy. That is 100% true. It's called contentment. If you can't be happy with what you had today, you won't be happy later. And I've seen this with a lot of high net worth individuals all throughout my career. 
when you get more money, you just have more things, you just want to spend more, you have more expensive habits, more expensive hobbies. So today, if you can be satisfied with how much you're saving and how much you're able to uh, do and being content with that, that, my friends, will serve you well for the rest of your life. So, for calm, hope it's helpful for you, and I hope you become content. My name is David. This is my life on play. Thanks for listening.